All right, so it's been a heck of a week and a half. Uh, it started with a clogged sewer drain, followed by a dysfunctional washing machine, and then uh, the charge port on my Android phone, the little chip snapped off of it, so I had to get a new phone. And then I got a bad case of the flu, and maybe you can tell I'm still kind of getting over that now, but it's good to be back with another video. And today I got a little fish story for you, involving none other than the band KISS. Specifically, Ace Fraley. Now, there's a lot of fish stories about the band Kiss, be it involving the number of women certain band members have claimed to have been with, or the length and girth of certain band members' members. But today, I got a literal, actual fish story for you. And it involves uh, the time Kiss were staying at the Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. Now, the Edgewater Hotel is a famous rock and roll hotel located in Seattle, Washington on Elliott Bay. It was originally built in 1962 for the World's Fair, and it's hosted some of the biggest names in rock and roll, uh, including the Beatles. Their 1964 stay at the hotel turned it into a favorite accommodation amongst musicians, which continues to this day. Uh, that 1964 visit by the Fab Four came at the height of Beatlemania, and it even saw some crazed Beatlemaniacs swim across the bay in hopes of catching a glimpse of the band. Um, other groups like Black Sabbath, Nirvana, Elvis, The Stones, Frank Zappa are just a few of the names to have stayed at the hotel. Um, one favorite pastime of hotel guests uh, was the fact that they would let you fish out the windows of the rooms. Uh, they even sold bait and fishing line inside the hotel. Uh, probably one of the most famous or infamous incidents involving a rock band staying at the hotel was when Led Zeppelin came in 1973 they threw all the furniture out the window, uh, including television sets, lamps. They threw it all into the bay, and there may have even been some uh, NSFW shenanigans involving uh, mud sharks caught from the bay and uh, groupie. But uh, the group would subsequently be banned from staying at the Edgewater until years later. Today, I want to talk about the time Kiss stayed at the Edgewater Hotel. Apparently, Kiss was coming through uh, the Pacific Northwest, and they were staying at the hotel on one of their tours. And none other than Kiss lead guitarist Ace Fraley, back in 2003, talked about how he was in his room. He had purchased some bait and some fishing line uh, from the hotel lobby, the gift shop. Uh, they sold hooks and shrimp that you could put on fishing line. And he was chilling out in his room with uh, one of the Kiss Road crew, a guy named John Hart. They're chilling out, drinking some beer, watching a baseball game. And here's what Ace had to say in 2003 about uh, fishing out the window while they're hanging out uh, in their room. He says, I put three shrimp on this triple hook and threw it out about 50 feet. It was a 100 foot line. I didn't want to hold it, so I tied it onto the chandelier above us where we were sitting. So here Ace doesn't want to stand by the window and uh, hold the line out there and wait for a bite. He's just gonna tie it to the chandelier so they can chill out, slam a few beers, watch a little baseball. And uh, apparently, I guess while they were uh, hanging out, the chandelier started to move. Ace Fraley joked that, uh, hey, uh, is this an earthquake or am I getting a bite? And they both laughed, and I guess the chandelier started to really started moving. So um, Ace quickly unhooked it, and he wrapped it around his hand three or four times, and he was trying to get a handle on this thing, whatever they had caught on this hook. Uh, he calls John Hart. He says, hey, man, help me with this thing. I can't handle this. The both of them, they did what they could, but they couldn't bring the thing in. They were really struggling with whatever, whatever it is they had on this line, man. They'd cast out the window, was giving them a tug. 
giving them a heck of a time. And John and Ace, they looked out the window, and uh, here's what Ace had to say. We looked out the window, and we saw, like, a effing great white. And then he laughed. He says, that thing must have been 12, 15 feet long. So we just let it go. There was no way we would be able to pull it up. Those effing things weigh a ton. I thought I was going to catch a 12 inch fish and I end up catching a effing great white. So here Ace, now this sounds like a fish story to me, I guess. Ace claims that they had caught a great white shark from the window of his room at the uh, Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. And you know, no one ace. He was probably under the influence. Well, obviously they were drinking beer. He might have been under the influence of uh, God knows what else. I think mainly his thing was alcohol at the time. I know, I don't maybe he dabbled in other things. I don't really know. I don't want to cast aspersions, but that's Ace's fish story. The time he caught a great white shark. While the band was at the famous rock and roll Edgewater Hotel in Seattle. What do you think? Do you think this is just an Ace Fraley fish story? Or do you think he really had himself a great white shark on the line? Or, uh, you know, maybe it was one of those uh, God knows what. Who knows? I don't know. Like, what what do they have in Seattle? Maybe it was, uh, don't know. But uh, let me know what you think, man. Um... It's uh, it's a video, so uh, I hope you dug it, and we'll see you next time, man. See you here. <laughs>